third item on the agenda is BA 2014-01. Staff, if you would please present this case. Yes, sir. This is a text amendment to the city's land development regulations. Um, it would add a new section in the Overlay District's chapter. The new section would be section 210-6, Historical Overlay District, um, which sounds almost redundant for those of you who realize we have a historic preservation chapter and a local historic district. This is really an attempt to do a couple different things. Um, one is to tie the two together. Um, sometimes they are not always found, particularly when we're dealing with some out-of-town developers. The other one is to grant a little more flexibility within the residential portions of the uh, historic district. When you have smaller plots that were set out in a pattern many decades ago, um, such as maybe an R6 zoning, but the lot is only 45 or 50 feet wide, under current zoning standards, it's very difficult to site a house on such a lot and meet current setbacks unless they have paid a variance and go through that public hearing process. And it's in contrast when you have an existing pattern, perhaps established 100 years ago, where the setbacks are very small, the homes a little bit larger, which has always been used as a rationale for granting of the variance. But what this would do is grant a little more flexibility in those situations so they do not have to go through that kind of process. So in other words, they would be able to uh, construct a house on the lot that fits the surrounding pattern. Another one, you may recall a few months ago, we had a request for conditional use for an event center on North Patterson Street, um, one of these large residential buildings um, that they were trying to market as residential, but because of its location, they're having difficulty. They were looking for an alternative use. One was like a miniature event center, like a miniature crescent. Um, except smaller, um, that went through, we put the appropriate conditions on it. But if that property was not already zoned commercial, it would not have even been eligible to ask. And so I just put some pictures together. This is the neighborhood setting, which is hard to see on the screen, which you might see on the television. But then this is the house that we looked at a few months ago. There may be cases where a situation such as this would exist in a residential area or on the edge of a residential area, and then maybe an alternative use might be appropriate there under the right conditions. So part of these amendments would allow the possibility of a conditional use for someone to seek, like for a bed breakfast or a museum, or something that might fit in a historic neighborhood, but not necessarily in a conventional modern neighborhood. So this simply opens up that realm of possibility. Um, it's just two pages for the amendments. It actually plants in the overlay chapter of the historic district and then ties to the historic preservation chapter for the details of architectural guidelines and procedures, which have always been there. And of course, no changes to that. Um, that's all there is for the amendments, Mr. Chairman. All right. Are there any questions from the commissioners? There being none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this? request. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being none, I will close the public participation portion of this request. Um, discussion is open amongst the commissioners. There being no discussion, um, I will not entertain a motion from the commissioners. Chairman, I'll make a motion. Motion to follow the staff recommendation to finalize the proposed draft of the federal amendment. Find these amendments consistent with the comprehensive plan and recommend approval to the city council. Second. We have a motion and a second. On the floor, is there any discussion on the uh, motion? There being none, all in favor of this request, please indicate. Do so by uh, raising your right hand. All right, the motion passes unanimously.